Sisters, Adasu Salisuva Ishurun, lesson number 23, the final dars in book one. Now you have to understand one thing, brothers and sisters, when you are revising, there are important things that we learn in book one. Brothers and sisters, book one, Jar Majroor, remember, lesson four, Mudaf Mudaf Ilehi, lesson five, Nath Manut, lesson nine, ten, okay? And then lesson 16, what was lesson 16? What will you give a title? Kullu Monas, you lesson 16. And, and then we came to Kam Taliban Fi Faslikum, that lesson, lesson 19, I think, uh, or 20. So these are the important things that we learned. Okay? Now everything is combined together. In the last three lessons, all these things are combined together. So this lesson, truly speaking, is very easy. If you are strong in your understanding. Now you have to understand one thing, brothers and sisters. Jar Majroor, okay, we should understand very well. And then, kinds of khabar. Are you with me? Muftada and the khabar. Then kinds of khabar is very important to, to have a clear-cut idea. How many kinds of khabar there are? In our simple way, mufrat. One is mufrat. When it is mufrat, it is marfu. Are you with me? It is marfu. Khalas. It has to be marfu. Second one is jar majru. Marfu, most of the time indefinite. But it can be definite too. Huh? Susan Nusrat. Most of the time it is indefinite but can be definite too. Okay. Okay. And then Jar Majrur, Shibu Jumla. And then Zarf, Shibu Jumla. And then it will come as a Jumla Felia. The Khabar will come as a Jumla Felia. And then the Khabar can also come as a Jumla Ismiya. This thing has to be clear cut in our mind throughout our study and throughout the study of the Qur'an, okay? Because if your foundation is strong, everything else will become a piece of cake for you. And that I will prove it to you, inshallah, when we start book two. That this knowledge will help us to understand things with much, you know, comfort and, uh, and joy, inshallah, okay? And so here also, watch for these things. Huh? Five kinds of khabar. Okay? So if you see Jumla Ishmiya, you are looking for Muftaza and khabar. If you see Jumla Failia, you are looking for Fail and Fahil. Huh? And later on, it will be Mafulun Bi. These are the important things we watch in a sentence. There is a verb, there has to be a Fahil. If there is a Muftaza, there has to be a khabar. And what is that khabar? That is what we will uh, always be watching. In other words, I jokingly say, we have to become Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> and watch for these things in the sentences. Okay? Al-Mudarris. Mananta ya akhi. Who are you? Oh, my brother. Okay? Ana. Talibun. Jadidun. What kind of sentence is this? Jumla ismiya. What are we looking for? Ana, muftada, talibun, khabar, jadidun naat, khalas. See, that's the way we will do inshallah. Okay, ready? Masmuka. Remember, hamdatul wasal. It will be incorrect to say ma ismuka. You should say masmuka. Huh? Because Hamzatul Wasal. When the Hamzatul Wasal comes in the beginning of a sentence, you pronounce it. If it, there is something in front of Hamzatul Wasal, then it is assimilated. Okay. Ismi Ahmadu. What is it? Ismi Ahmadu. Now, watch for every word in this lesson. Ismi Ahmadu. Ismi, how many words are there? Two. Two. 
what kind of a combination is this? Mudaf, mudafili. So where is our muftada? Ismu. Where is our muftada? Ismu. Huh? Why? It is actually ismu. But because of ya mutakallam, it became ismi. So ismu is our muftada, wa huwa mudaf, and ya mutakallam, mudafilihi. And ahmadu, what is ahmadu? Our khabar. Ahmadu, what does it tell you? That I am a dip huh? Okay. Ahmadu, Ahmada, and Ahmada. Huh? Dip -tot. It declines, but declines partially. Okay, then stops. Minaina Anta. Where are you from? Ana Min Bagista. No, no, what is happening here, brother? Previously, we used to say, and I'm in Al-Yabani, and I'm in Al-Sini, and I'm in Al-Hindi, because they had all Al, Al, Al. Here is, without Al, Pakistan, Nu, diptot. Okay? So, if it is Pakistan, Nu, then it will be Mansub, Pakistan, Na, Majroor, Pakistan, Na. So now, Dr. Abdurrahim is trying to teach us that how the diptotes behave when they become majroor. Huh? So, so, ana, muptada, min harfchar, bagistana, ism, majroor. So, min bagistana, jar majroor, shibu jumla, khabar. Got the idea now? Watch for these things in this lesson, brothers and sisters. In the Sabatu dafati ra. Why dafati ra? And not dafati ri? It is dip taught. Yesterday we did some practice. Huh? Dafati ru? Make it mansub? Dafati ra? Make it majroor? Tira. So now it is dafati ra. But it is majroor. You know why it is majroor? Because it is mudaf ilayhi. With the numbers from 3 to 10, it is mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. Okay? Fine. In the sabatu dafatira. Watch for it. In the, what is in the, brothers and sisters? In the plus mudaf ilayhi ya mutakalam. So in the is your zarf, shibu jumla khabar. And then ya mutakalam, mudaf ilayhi. And where is our muftada? Where is our muftada? Sabatu. Marfu. Wa huwa mudaf. And dafatira. Mudaf ilayhi majroor. Sahih? Okay. Liman hiya. How will you translate this? Liman hiya. Yes. So to whom these belong? Now it is these dafatir. Huh? Okay. Hati ya ustad. Okay, we are not going in too much detail. Later on we will learn the meaning of hati. Means give. Yeah. Hati, give ya ustad. Huh? Hati means give. Hati ya ustad. Now watch carefully. They are beautiful sentences. Simple sentences. That we can always use in our a speech sometimes. Haza li. What is the meaning of haza li? This is for me. This belongs to me. So what is haza? Uh, what is li? Jar majru shibu jamla khabar. How many words are in li? Two. Harf jar li and ya mutakalam. Always keep that in mind. Huh? Okay. Ask yourself how many words are there? And then you try to break it down. Okay. Wahaza li Muhammadin. So wow, ataf, haza muftida, li Muhammadin, jar majur, shibu jumla khabar. Now watch how cleverly Dr. Abdurrahim has constructed these sentences huh? to give us a complete idea of triptote and diptote. Wahaza li hamidin. And this is for? Hamid. Same thing, same another. Wahaza li Ibrahi ma. Why ma, brother? There, 
we said Muhammadin, Hamidin, Li Hamidin, Li Muhammadin, now Li Ibrahima. Why? Because it is difficult. Ibrahimu, Ibrahima, and again Ibrahima. Very good. Wahazali Usma Na. Dip dot again. Wahazali Yu Sufa. Wahazali Talhata. So, brother, tell me what is it here? Li Ibrahim. What is Li Ibrahim? Belongs to Ibrahim. Grammatical analysis. Jar Majroor. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Ibrahim is Isam Majroor. Uthmana is Isam Majroor. Yusufa is Isam Majroor. And Talhata is Isam Majroor. So these are all Jar Majroor. Shibu Jumla Khabar. Got the idea? Simple, brother. Ahadra Kitabuka ya Muhammadu. Kitabuka. What kind of a combination is this? Kitabuka. Mudaf mudafili. Mudaf mudafili. Very good. La hada kitabu. Hamza ta. Okay. Hada muftada. Where is your khabar? Kitabu. Huh? One word. Marfu. Wahuwa mudaf. And where is mudafili majroor? Where is it? Hamza ta. Why ta and not ti? Dipto. That's all we have to see. How beautiful this lesson is, brother. Gives you a complete idea. And, you know, I say, you know, there are many great inventions in modern time. But I feel highlighter is one of the biggest inventions. <laughs> because you can use it to understand things. So take your highlighter at home, brothers and sisters, at home, and, and highlight the ending of all the diptotes. Are you with me? If you highlight the endings of all the diptotes, then it will make very clear to you when you are revising it. Huh? That, will, that highlighted vowel sign will tell you that this is Isam Majroor. But it is Majroor with Fatah. Why? Because it is diptote. Huh? So these are the things that will help you. Use your highlighter as much as you can, you know, in the books. To highlight different rules that we are learning. Okay. Aina Ali Yun Yaikhwan. What is the answer? Zahaba ila ila riyadi. Ila riyadi. Zahaba ila riyadi. What is the answer? Zahaba ila riyadi. Okay, what kind of a sentence is this? Chumrafil. Where is our fear? Zahab. Where is our file? Mustatir. Ila Riyadi Jar Majur. Now see, here again I admire Dr. Abdurrahim. In this sentence he says Ila Riyadi. So proper triptote. And in the next sentence he says Zahaba Illa Makkah Ta. See, he wants us to understand that there is a difference between these two. One is triptote and the other one is diptote. Huh? So Wa'ayna Yaqubu Zahaba illa Makkah ta. So Zahaba is fail file illa Makkah ta. Is Makkah ta majroor? Yes, it is majroor. Bil Fatah. Bit Fatah. Fine. Al Mudar is Aina Ishaku. What is it, brother? Aina Ishaku. See, all these are diptotes now. Kharaja. Kharaja is a complete sentence. Huh? Fiel and file. Three letters. Huh? Kharaja. And it is complete sentence. Okay. Later on we will learn just one letter of alphabet is a sentence. It is incredible in Arabic language. Brother. So, Mata Kharaja. Watch. Mata Kharaja. What is the translation? When did he leave? Huh? When did he leave? Kharaja, fine. Fiel file. Kharaja, fiel file. What is Kabla? Zarf. No, Zarf. Kabla, Bada, Amama, Fauka, Khalfa. They will have Mudafilehi. So where is your Mudafilehi? Khamsi. Okay. Why it is Khamsi and not khams, Khamsati? Because the madud is muannas. Huh? 
because the madud is mornas, so adad has to be become muzakkar. Okay, dakaika. Why it is dakaika and not dakaiki? Deptot. So what is the singular of dakaika? Dakika tun. What is it? Dakika tun. So if I were to count from one minute onwards, what will I say? Dakika tun, wahida tun, dakika tani, isna tani, and then immediately I'll come to salasu dakai ka, arbau dakai ka, khamsu dakai ka. Okay. Now make it kabla. So khamsu became khamsi. And dakai ka. Okay. How will I analyze it, brother? I'll say kharaja fiel, fail mustatir, kabla zarf, khamsi mudafilehi, wahua mudaf, and dakai ka mudafilehi. Clear? Is it clear, brother and sisters? You want me to write it down? Okay, I'll write it down. Kharaja kabla. Khamsi Kharaja Fiel Now I am writing in short form Later on you will say Fiel Madi And then later on you will say Mabni Ala Fatah well, These are coming later on huh? In the beginning we do the simplest thing in Fiel plus File Mustatir Huh? File is hidden. What is Kabla, brother? Zarf. Huh? And what is this Khamsi? Mudaf Ilehi. Plus, it is Mudaf. And what is this? Mudaf Ilehi. And I'm writing particularly this word. Majroorun, because I don't see kasra, but it is fata, but it is majroor bil fata. Diptotes will become majroor bil fata, with fata. Okay? Uh, this is the simplest way of writing it. Huh? Inshallah. Tamarinu, exercises. Tamal, ponder. Alam silatala atiyata. On the following questions. You just have to ponder, brother. But I will write. Okay, I want to write everything. Muhammadun min min harf jar is a majroor. Min Muhammadin. Ila Muhammadin. Li Muhammadin. Kitabu Muhammadin. What are all these things? They are is a majroor. Huh? Kitabu Muhammadin, Muhammadin is mudaf ilahi, but mudaf ilahi is also majroor. Okay, fine. Now watch at Zainabu. Zainabu. Min Zainaba. What is Min Zainaba? Jar majroor. Zainab is majroor bil fata. Why? Because it is dipped out. Fine. Ila Zainaba. Same thing, jar majroor. Li Zainaba. Jar majroor. Kitabu Zainaba. Mudaf Mudaf. So it's very easy, brother and sisters. Ikra Waktu. Now we come to, brother Salman, watch for every sentence. Hazal Kitabu Li Muhammadin. Okay, brother, what is this Haza? Muftida. And what is this Al Kitab? Badal. See? Salman, this is the badal. Haz al kitabu, al kitabu is the badal. And where is the news? Li Muhammadin. Jar majrur, shibu jumla khabar. Very good. Wa zalika, wow ataf, and zalika, you can say, muftada again, in order to simplify things. Okay. Li zaina ba. So what is li zaina ba? Jar majrur, shibu jumla khabar. Very good. Zahaba, fine. Fial. Where is the file? Khali dun. You will put proper dun there. Huh? Because Khali dun 
it is a proper name and that proper name with tanween is definite it is definite and it is file huh? because file is always marfu huh? it will be most of the time but sometimes it can be indefinite too but most of the time it will be definite but we have to remember one thing muftada marfu khabar if it is one word marfu are you with me file marfu these are the signs you know that the tanween or dhamma tells us that either it is muftada or it is khabar or it is file and later on we will learn more inshallah okay zahaba khalidun file then ila ahma ala ahma da so now dr abdurahim wants to give us extra practice so he is bringing all these mixed things now huh? so we got to watch ahma da so ila ahma da is our jar majroor khalas fine zahaba abi okay brother zahaba abi what is zahaba fiel Sister Hafsa, where is the file? Abi? No. Abu. <laughs> because file is marfu, so it has to be Abu. Huh? But the Yamata Kalam prevented that Dhamma to be visible. Uh, Yamata Kalam prevented that Dhamma to become visible and it made it into Kasra. So Abu is the file, Wahua, Modaf, and then Modafile. MashaAllah. Illa Makkah. Wazahaba ammi, same. Zahaba fiel, where is the file? Ammu. Ila judda ta. See now, extra practice for diptotes. Very good. Uhtu marwa. Uhtu marwa na. Uhtu marwa na. Maridatun. So, brother, what is the translation? Sister of Marwan is sick. Okay, fine. What is Ukhtu? Mubtada wa huwa mudaf. And what is Marwana? Mudaf ilayhi majroor bil fatah. Fine. And Maridatun is your khabar. Very good, brother. Aina zawju Khadija ta. Are you with me? Aina zawju Khadija ta. Where is the husband of Khadija? What is the answer? Huwa fi landa na. Huwa mubtada fi landana jar majroor shibu jumla khabar. Landana, brothers and sisters, landana is, what is landana? Ism majroor bil fatah. What is it? It's ripped out. But it is ism majroor bil fatah. Sayaratu Hamidin Jadidatun. What is it? Sayaratu Hamidin Jadidatun. So Hamidun is tripped out. Huh? Sayaratu Muftada Wahua Mudaf. Hamidin Mudaf Ilehi. Huh? Jadidatun is your Khabar. Wa Sayaratu Ibrahi. Ma. Are you with me, Sister Salma? Afsa Abir. Sayaratu Ibrahi. Ma and not Ibrahimi. You make Ibrahimi, then it means you don't understand diptotes. Are you with me? Huh? So Sayaratu Ibrahima. Okay. Kadimatun. Fine. Yes, Sister Memuna, you want to ask something? Okay. Okay, now see by practice. Okay, names like Ahmad. Okay. Akbar, okay, Arshad, Amjad, Anwar, these are all tiptoed. Because they are built on certain patterns, which we are going to learn later on. All the names of Muannas, sisters, I should say all the names of sisters, they are all tiptoed. Okay, Mariamu, Khadijatu, Aminatu, Fatima too. Are you with me? Now you see, there is another sign that they have a single Dhamma. But even if there is no single Dhamma, you know it is dipped out. 
and all the foreign names, all the names of the Prophet except Nuhun, Nuhun is tripped out. Why it is tripped out, we are going to learn later on. We are not going in detail. But all the names of Prophets, Ishaqu, Yaqubu, Ayyubu, Ibrahimu, Ismailu. So what is this Dhamma telling you? They are all dipped out. Similarly, there will be certain patterns. Okay, so how about I, I go one more time to page number 118. Go to page number 118, brothers and sisters. Do you see all these things, <coughs> Sister Mamuna? Huh? See number one, number two. All of them are dipped out. Now you have to look at them and, and try to digest them. Okay, and they are very easy. Yeah? They are all on certain patterns. Everything is in on certain patterns or with certain reason. Number one, Zainab, these are the monas names. So they are all dipped out. Then Hamzatu, this is a by name it is monas, but it is used for Muzakkar. Why it is by name it's monas? Because Tamarbuta comes. But then it is used for Muzakka. So these are dipped out. Okay? Look at Uthmanu, Affanu, Sufyanu. Do you see a pattern there? It ends with Alif and Noon. So these are dipped out. By the time you come to Book 3, brothers and sisters, you will have a good idea. So Book 1, what is the last lesson? Dipped out. Are you listening, Sita Mamuna? Book 3, lesson number 34, the last lesson. What is that last lesson? Dip toes again. But in so much detail that it will surprise you. And in that lesson, we go on the patterns. So these are the patterns which make a noun dip toes. But here, as I said, Taslanu, these are adjectives, these are not. Again, they are on a certain pattern. Do you see a pattern? Kaslanu, Javanu. Okay. This pattern is Fa'alanu. What is the pattern? Fa'alanu. But we learn patterns later on. Huh? And here again, look at it. Ahmadu, Anwaru, Akbaru, Ahsanu. They are also on a pattern. Okay. The pattern is Af'alu. We are going to learn later on. Colors, brother. Abiyadu, Aswadu, these are all dipped out. And then foreign names, they are all dipped out. And then the plurals on the pattern of Mafailu and Mafailu, and then Afilau, and then Fualau. So, brother, if I say all these things, I hope you are not, no longer gabrified. Huh? Because now we are used to it. And you will get even more used to it as we go along. So you will become expert then. When you will see a, a noun, you will be able to figure out that this is on this pattern. Because being immersed uh, in the book, in the language, will, will make your mind absorb all these things and identify them. Okay? So here I say, Agniyahu, Asdikahu, Akviyahu, Attibahu. What is the pattern? Afilahu. What is the pattern? Afilahu. Write down on the side the pattern. Afilahu. I think you wrote it down yesterday. Okay. And Fukarahu, Udarahu, Zumalahu, Ulamahu. What are they? Fualahu. Fine. And Masajidu. Madarisu, Fanadiku, Makatibu, Dakaiku. What is the pattern? Mafailu. And then Maladilu, Mafatihu, Fanajinu, Karasiyu. These are on the pattern of Mafailu. Huh? With Ya there. So this is the way, Sister Mamuna, we will be able to identify them. Okay? Inshallah. And let me assure you, it's easy. And it's fun. It's a fun to identify. You will enjoy doing it, you know. So, 
we did that. Number seven, Baitu Baitu Khalidin, Mashallah, Mashallah, and Kabirun. So, what is the translation? Is big. House of Khalid is big. Wa Baitu Usama Ta. See how clever Dr. Abdul Rahim is. You know, you will, you won't find this combination in this beautiful way given where we can in a sentence can see diptote and triptote both coming as mudafilehi and giving us different picture okay baitu khalidin and baitu usama ta masha very good number 8 aina zahaba abuki ya layla yes sister aisha What, what, number seven? Yeah, I thought you know it. Yeah, uh, okay. Baitu Mubtada Huwa Mudaf Khalidin Mudaf Ilehi Kabirun Khabar. You tell me. Kabirun. Because you put a line after Baitu Khalidin. If you put a line, see, if it is Kabirin, you got to have a reason for Kabirin. Khalidin, Kabirin, no, no, no. It doesn't make sense. Then it is not a complete sentence also. You want to say, uh, no, you cannot say anything. Kabirin cannot come. If it is to be a nath of Khalid, then what would it be? House of Big Khalid. How will you say House of Big Khalid? Tell me, brothers. House of Big Khalid. How will you say? Baitu Khalidin. Al Kabiri. If you say Al Kabiru, then the big house of Khalid. Are you with me? Watch carefully. I'm writing now that you told me I'm writing. Okay. Baitu Khalidin. Al Kabi Ru. And now I write down Baitu Khalidin Al Kabi Ri. Tell me, brothers and sisters, is this a complete sentence? No, it's not a complete sentence. We are waiting for the news. Huh? We are waiting for the news. Huh? Okay? I can, I can figure out the news. Baitu Khalidin al Kabiru Jamilun. The big house of Khalid is beautiful. Are you with me? Then that will come as a your huh? uh, Jamilun will come as a Khabar. This is your khabar. Okay? Now, Baitu Khalidin Al Kabiri. House of Big Khalid. What is it? House of Big Khalid. So, Khalidin is definite. So, the Nath has to be definite. Are you with me? Is Khalidun definite or not? Then the Nath has to come with Al. Khalid is definite without Al, because it is a proper name. Huh? So, did you see? So, in that case, so your mind should be able to tell you that the Baitu Khalidin Kabirun, house of Khalid is big. Kabirun is your Khabar. Are you with me? And Baitu is Usamata, Sagirun is your Khabar. Sagirun is your khabar. Are, are you clear? Now, if you were to use as a naat, so you, if you were to use as a naat, baitu khalidin sagi, kabirin is incorrect. It cannot be kabirin. No way. Huh? So you, you got to, when you give kasra, ask yourself. Okay. Mostly the, mostly it's jar majru that we have to be careful. 
mudah mudal ilai we have to be careful uh, and when the nath comes you got to ask question what is it brother what is your question but the baitu khalidin what is baitu khalidin mudah mudah ilai so where is your mubtada baitu wa huwa mudaf and khalidin mudafili and what is al kabiru is a nat for baitu are you with me is this the nat for baitu or not because dhamma here it is al kabiru so it means manut has to be definite is this manut definite yes why it is definite because khalidin is definite mudafili is definite that's why i asked the question how do you know whether mudaf is definite when the mudaf ilahi is definite huh? where is the khabar uh, there was no khabar i put the khabar after the line now if you put jamilun then it becomes complete sentence otherwise you just said uh, big house of khalid okay what about it what do you want to say complete the sentence huh see here in the number 7 sister aisha you said baitu khalidin kabirun house of khalid is big now because you said kabirin and you want to give as a nat of khalid i have to explain you that kabirin cannot be nat if the nat is there it has to be al kabiri Now Al Kabiri is the nat for Khalid, and Al Kabiru. If you want to use as Al Kabiru, then it will become the nat of Baitu. Are you with me? Huh? You want to write it down? Yes. What is the nat in the sentence? What is the? In the sentence, you said Baitu Khalid. Okay, okay. Keep, draw a line. Baitu. Khalidin, draw a line. Okay, what is Baitu? Mubtada, wa huwa mudaf, and Khalidin, mudafle. Where is the khabar now? Kabirun. Draw a line before Kabirun to make sure you separate Mubtada and khabar. Brothers and sisters, we are in the last lesson. Don't tell me <laughs> you are still confused. I am assuming you are all very strong, inshallah. Brothers and sisters. again i tell you most of the teachers do not follow this method huh? some scholars or some university graduate will criticize me he said his method is totally wrong that's not the way you learn arabic but brother i went through this process myself and i had so much difficulty in understanding everything uh, it came to me later on that i could figure out these things so then i took this i take this initiative and start coaching you from the very beginning and i have proven results that the students who followed this method and then they studied up to book 3 they became expert they became expert and when we were analyzing quran and understanding quran it was so easy for them and it was so enjoyable for them okay so i am taking this initiative inshallah you will find it that it has given you enormous insight uh, into the basic rules of arabic grammar okay so that is why i say baitu khalidin put a line why you put a line sister aisha you separated mubtada and after line comes khabar similarly baitu usamata baitu mubtada wa huwa mudaf usamata mudaf ilayhi majrur bil fata i'm going one extra uh, thing you know i'm telling you put a line there and what is sagirun khabar now if you don't put a line then you are confused you know is it sahirin but when you put a line then you are separating mubtada and khabar just for your ease inshallah
And, and here, Jamilun is your khabar. What is it, brothers and sisters? Jamilun is your, look at it carefully. In both cases, Jamilun will be khabar. Baitu Khalidin Kabiru Jamilun. What will be the translation? Big house of Khalid is beautiful. Baitu Khalidin Kabiri Jamilun. House of big Khalid. Maybe he's a very rich man. Okay? Very influential man. House of big Khalid is beautiful. In both cases, Jamidun will come. I'm writing down also so that it is much more clear. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Yeah, that is, that is the right thing that you said. Case ending in Al-Kabiri told me it is the Naat of Khalid. Case ending Al-Kabiru told me it is the Naat of Bait. Huh? That was a good observation, brother. The case ending, that's why we say Dun Dan Din. Because it tells us where it belongs to. What kind of a function the noun is doing. Okay, brother. Aina zahaba abu ki ya Layla. Where did your father go, O Layla? What is the answer? Zahaba ila Baghda da. Okay. Zahaba fail file, you know it. Fi Istanbul la. In Istanbul, jar majur shibu jumla khabar. Masajidu kathiratun. Okay, where is our Muptada? Masaji Du. Huh? Dip toad. What is Kasiratun? Not for Masaji Du. Huh? Because Kullu Jama Monas. In the Khamsatu Mafati Ha. Are you with me? In, in the Khamsatu Mafati Ha. Fine, brother and sister. You know how to analyze this, inshallah. In the zarf, shibu jumla khabar, ya mutakalam mudafilahi, khamsatu muqtada wa huwa mudaf, mafatiha mudafilahi majroorun bil fatah. Okay. Al kaabatu, what is al kaabatu? Muqtada, the kaaba. What about kaaba? Give me some news. Fi makka ta. Fi makata jar majru shibu jumla khabar. Okay. Fi hadhi shari. Watch this, Brother Salman. Now, every time I take a name of Brother Salman, you know what it is. What is it? Bada. Okay. There, <laughs> there, there was one brother, you know. Everybody kept his name. Huh? Brother Hassan Badal. No, I don't want you to call Brother Salman Badal. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, we don't want him to have his surname Badal, you know. Okay. Fi haza shari'i. What is fi? Arsha. Haza isam majroor. Fine, brother. And what is the shari'i? Badal. This is your Badal, brother Farooq. This is your Badal. Salasatu masaji. Masaji. Da. Fine. So, Fi haza jar majur shibu jumla khabar shari badal salasatu mubtada wa huwa mudaf and masajida mudaf ilayhi majroorun bil fatah. 